Hello, welcome back to the Project Hercules Diaries. I'm just making the uh, turnbuckle, or what would normally be a turnbuckle, to connect the gear linkage. Now, the plate on the bike that um, selects the gear isn't wide enough to take anything more than an M6, and it looks quite neat. So rather than remake it to take an M8, which is a bit overkill, I've got this M6 rose joint uh, with a female M6 thread. So what I've done is I've made this, which started off life as one of these. It's an M8 stainless steel bolt with a shank on it. I turned off the head, I've turned down this end and threaded it to M6. So I've now got um, a connecting piece for these two rose joints. Um, yes, they're both right hand threads. So that means that I won't be able to adjust it easily while it's on the bike just by rotating it one way or the other. But it doesn't mean I don't need a locking nut at each side and I think sometimes they look a bit, um, a bit naff. So what I would like to do is to get the distance right and then turn down the thread at one end or saw off one end or the other so that between these two rose joints you only have that shank and that would look quite nice with no exposed thread but of course I need to adjust it uh, and once it's adjusted it will be set fixed forever uh, if you're wondering whether or not this could move left and right inside because the the threads are the same on both ends both right-handed threads um, it can't two reasons one is that these would be hard up against the shank so that would prevent it from sort of just floating backwards and forwards a little bit um, and the second reason is that this is an M6 thread which is a 1mm pitch and that is an M8 thread which is 1.25 so the threads wouldn't allow it to turn if both of them are engaged and you can see that perhaps if I hold those a bit closer the thread pitches are not anywhere anywhere near so when that is on there and the other end is on the other side uh, it's gone quite well actually because quite often when you when you turn down a bolt that's just been purchased um, it, it doesn't go well especially sort of stainless steel now this is a bit over length at the moment but that's fine because once I've cut it I lose the adjustment so I'm going to use this as the adjustment by cutting it down and cutting it down or if I don't need to cut it down and I find that that's the right length, I'll buy a longer stainless steel bolt and do the same operation. But it's kind of a proof of concept at this stage. So that's the first part. The other thing I just wanted to show while I've got the uh, super special tripod out is how I've mounted this halfway up the gear lever. So this is the gear lever, which uh, I've turned down and put an M8 thread on that fits on there and I've just put a, a little chamfer on there so that it lines up with the ball and aesthetically then if you can see that looks quite nice I might even increase the, the taper angle on that so that I can get more angle on that rose joint if I need to move the stick more than that sort of angle on the bike and then the other end of this if I can find it oh, where did I put it typical isn't it ah there we go that groaning sound is me bending down because it fell on the floor so that's the other end of the of the gear stick and then the two together obviously that's been drilled and tapped m8 and then that traps the ball and then when the gear changes on the bike it looks like that all in stainless very nice so i'm going to pop it on the bike and see how it uh, looks with the skull on just um, give me one moment and that will be in situ Right, here we are, driver's eye view, rider's eye view. Uh, here we are sitting on the bike. Uh, there is the skull's head or the back of it. There are the linkages. And if I go from here, I've got first gear towards me. And then I've got second gear away from me. And then back to neutral in the middle. So the rose joints down the bottom. Not sure this is focusing very well, is it? Come on camera, sort yourself out. First, second, first, second, neutral, first, second, neutral. Now if I want to change the throw of the gear lever, I can move the hole in this plate that direction. That will give me a shorter gear throw if I wanted a shorter gear throw. 
a bit difficult to make it longer. If I want to adjust the angle at which the gear lever sits in relation to the bike, I shorten or lengthen that, but I quite like it where it is. See if that's any better for focus. So that's the angle of the gear lever in neutral. That would be first gear and that would be top gear. So in top gear it's pretty much vertical, in first gear, in neutral, about like that, and in first gear about like that. So I could move it further forward so it lines up with the cylinder in one of the gears. Um, yeah, to be decided, I could also bend this slightly so the curve of the gear stick matches the curve of the, the tank there. Uh, and this is just, you know, kind of put together. What I do is I shim all of these properly with washers, I probably will re remake that because I quite like the length of it and it's not getting in the way when I'm sitting in the bike as you just saw which is great. Um, next I need to think about what to do in terms of making these more permanent foot pegs. I bought a brake master cylinder, just a generic one so think about mounting that somewhere and the other, same on the other side. Um, it's good to have lots of things in your head at, at the same time because then if you get stuck with one you can progress on the other. Battery box still needs to get made, there's a whole load of jobs to be done but I'm pleased with that. At least at this point I've got what appears to be a working hand change. Um, obviously there needs to be some kind of gates here because there's a lot of play in everything. None of this is particularly tight. That's only tack welded on the bottom so that needs to be welded nice and firm. So perhaps coming off here with, with a gate that this stick moves through just to um, stop it moving side to side so much and just take some of the slap out of it. And then when, when I'm in gear as well as the detent on the gear box there will also have the gate to help it positively click into one gear positively click into the other gear and positively click into neutral uh, interestingly if you move the back tire it moves the dogs out of line and you can feel it going into gear and, and out of gear it won't go into gear if the dogs aren't lined up so I need to just move the tire uh, and there's only one or two places where both sides line up at the same time so you can go from one gear to the other so it should be interesting to ride that's for sure so there we go as usual thanks for watching more updates will follow